Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Now I am going to solve this uh, problem. Again in this problem you are given a cantilever beam which supports the variable load shown. Calculate the supporting force RA and the moment MA at point A at the support, right? So again uh, the intensity of this distributed load is given as a function of x, right? So this is that omega which is equal to omega naught plus k x square and we have to find the reaction support at this point A, right? So again uh, what we can do is that since this intensity is a function of x, so we need to select a differential distributed load, right? So let us say that uh, somewhere here is my uh, differential distributed load and here we are given that this is the direction of positive x axis and this is the direction of that omega which is a function of x right. So this means that this uh, differential distributed load is acting at a distance of x and it is acting on the length which is dx, right? So now we can say that this, let us say that this area represent that uh, differential resultant, right? So this is dr. So I will write dr and this dr is equal to the area of this uh, uh, small strip, right? So this is, this will be dx times this height and this height is omega, right? So we can write that this is omega time dx, right? And we can integrate this from 0 to 6 meters, right? Since the axis, the length of the beam is 6 meters. So I will write that this is from 0 to 6 and we have to integrate this. So if I integrate this, so we will get the resultant, right? And this resultant will be the, uh, the concentrated load which will replace uh, this whole distributed load, right? So this is from 0 to B and we can write that this omega is equal to omega naught plus kx square, right? And here we are given two boundary conditions, right? So at here at x is equal to 0, I can write that at x is equal to 0, the omega value, the intensity is 500 Newton per meter. So if I put these values in this equation, so we will get that this is omega is 500 Newton per meter and x is equal to 0, so this term will become 0. So we can say that omega naught is 500 Newton per meter, right? Similarly, we are given this boundary condition at x is equal to, we can say that at x is equal to 6 meters, the intensity is 900 Newton per meter. So omega is 900 Newton per meter. So again, if I put these values in this equation, so this is 900 and omega naught is 500, right? So I will write that this is 500 plus and k. So this is k and x square. So x is 6. So x square will, will be 36, right? So this is 36 k. So we can find this k from this equation, right? So this k will be equal to 900 minus 500 divided by 36. So this 900 minus 500 divided by 36 is 11.11, right? So we can write that the k value is 11.11 and what are the units of this k? So as we can see that this 900 minus 500, so this is the intensity, right? So this is this its unit is Newton per meter and this 36 is meter square, right? Since uh, 6 is meters and we take square, so this will become uh, m to the power 2. Right, so the k value, uh, the k unit is Newton per cubic meter, right? So now we can write this equation. We can write that omega omega naught value is 500. So I will write that this is 500 plus k value is now known, which is 11.11 x square. So now we have this equation, right? So now I can replace this omega by this equation, right? So this is 500 plus 11.11 x square into dx. 
So, now if I integrate this, this is 5, this is 500 x uh, plus 11.11 x to the power 3 divided by 3 and uh, these limits are from 0 to 6 meters right. This is not b, this is uh, 6 meters right. So, this is from 0 to 6 meters. So, now if we put these uh, boundary conditions, so this will be 500 into 6 plus 11.11 divided by 3 into 6 to the power 3 right. So, we can write it as 500 into 6 plus 11.11 divided by 3 into 6 to the power 3. So, this gives us 3799.92. So, we can say that this is 3800 right. So, this R equals to 3800 Newtons right. Now, to draw the free body diagram for this given beam, uh, the next step is that we need to determine the location of this uh, concentrated load which will replace this distributed load right. So, we have to find the location of this R right and as we know that this R the line of action of this R will pass through the centroid of this given area. So, again uh, we will use that principle of moments equation that we use to determine the centroid of a given area right. So, we can say that uh, x bar x bar is the x coordinate of the centroid of this given area multiply by r this is the moment produced by the resultant about this point right about the origin and this will be equal to um, the moment of this uh, differential distributed load right. So, we will write dr and since this area this uh, dr is at a distance of x. So, we will multiply this with x right and we have to integrate this right since we have to determine we have to sum up all the moments of all the differential distributed loads right. So, we can write that this is x bar into r and dr we know dr is omega dx right. So, I will write that this is omega dx into x or we can write that omega into x dx and this is from 0 to 6 meters right and uh, omega is again that same equation which is 500 plus 11.11 x square into x dx and if I multiply this x. So, this will become x to the power 3 and in here we will have that x right. So, now this is our equation for integration right. So, now I can integrate this right. So, this is from 0 to this is not from 0 to b this is from 0 to 6 meters remember right. I am confusing it with b right since in the majority of the problems we have the limits from 0 to b right. So, this is from 0 to, uh, to 6 meters right. So, when we integrate this. So, this is 500 x square divided by 2. So, 500 divided by 2 is 250 plus 11.11 uh, .11 x to the power 4 divided by 4 and this is from 0 to 6 meters right. So, now if we put these uh, boundary conditions. So, this is x multiplied by r and this is 250 into 6 to the power 2 plus 11.11 6 to the power 4 divided by 4. So, this is 250 into 6 to the power 2 So, this gives us 12600 approximately right. So, this is x bar into r and 12600 and this will be since it is a moment equation. So, this is Newton meter remember right this r the units of r is Newton and this x is in meters. So, this will be in Newton meters right. Again this is that principle of moment equation. So, the units will be the moments units and we can find that x bar. So, that this x bar will be 12600 divided by r and r magnitude is known which is 3800. So, we will divide this by 3800 right. So, 
12,600 divided by 3,800. So this is 3.316, right? So we can write that this x bar is 3.316 meters. Now we can draw the free body diagram of that beam, right? So this is that beam. Here we have that point A. Here we will have that A x reaction. Here we have that A y reaction. And here we will have that moment support, right? Which will be acting in this direction, let us say this is M A. And we can replace this distributed load by that concentrated load, which is uh, whose magnitude is 3800. So, I will write it here. This is, this is that 3800 Newton. And from this end, the x bar is 3.316, right? Since we have determined it. Since the origin is here is from 0 to 6, we have integrated this from 0 to 6, right? So, then this x bar is the distance from the origin, right? So, I can say that uh, this is that x bar, right? And this x bar is 3.316 meters. So, now if, if I apply the summation of moment about point A equals to 0, so, as we can see that this M A is acting in the counterclockwise direction. So, I will write plus M A and this 3800 Newton force is producing clockwise moment. So, I will write minus 3800 and the moment arm of this uh, resultant from that point A is 6 minus this x bar, right? Since the total length of this beam is 6, right? This is given here. So, we can write that this is 6 minus x bar which is 3.316 and this will be equal to 0 or we can say that M A equals to 3800 into 6 minus 3.316. So, 3800, 3800 into 6 minus 3.316, right? So, this gives us uh, 10,199, right? So, 10,199.2 Newton meter or we can say that this is approximately 10,200 Newton meter, right? So, I will write it as 10,200 Newton meter, right? Now, if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0, so, as we can see that there is only a x which is acting in the negative x direction since this is our positive x direction and this is that omega that this is our y axis is right. So, this x is acting in the negative x direction. So, this is minus a x and this will be equal to 0. So, from this we can say that a x is equal to 0 and similarly if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0. So, a y is acting in the positive y direction and this r is acting in the negative y direction. This is equal to 0 or we can say that a y is equal to r, right? And we can say that a y equals to 3800 Newton since the r is equal to 3800 Newton. So, the total resultant reaction at point a is again and we can use the, that Pythagoras theorem. So, this is a x square plus a y square and again a x is 0. So, this means that R A equals to A Y magnitude and A Y magnitude is 3800 Newton and that moments, moment support at that point A is 10200 Newton per meter. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. Uh, I hope you people would have understood this problem solution. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel yet and also like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems.